Hello and welcome to my first challenge campaign. I am Der Rote and today we're gonna start a Fall of the Samurai campaign and our goal is to not modernize our clan. It's gonna be a domination campaign on Legendary and of course for that kind of challenge we're gonna pick the Aizu, the traditionalists. Basically their bonuses are that we're gonna save a bunch of money and our traditional units are a bit stronger. Yeah, that's exactly what we need. And I'll explain the exact rules in a bit. They're as follows. I am not allowed to go above le clan development level 1. No, not even level 2 is allowed. That means we'll only have to research 6 technologies. And that's all of it. This challenge is possible because of mainly two buildings, you could say. One of them is the gambling den, which gives us minus 1 to modernization. Also later the Yakuza office, but you can only have one of them. And the other ones, the traditional dojo, and then later the uh, the master dojo. So minus one and minus two to modernization. That's exactly what we need, because if we get only four points of modernization, we're gonna reach clan development level two. So we need a lot of negative modernization. Now, but... Just because modern technologies are out of the way, or modern buildings, you could say, that doesn't mean that modern units are out of the way. So I can use line infantry, but I don't think I will because the Shinsengumi are just gonna be better. Better than any kind of line infantry I can ever recruit. But another, um, another modern unit I can recruit, and I will use, I can imagine, is the parrot guns. Because, yeah, they are building, doesn't even give you modernization. So parrot guns can be an option. Armstrong guns of course not, because they require uh, clan development level 2. Now, just get your Shinsengumi inside this army, because he gives your units a bit higher melee defense. Exactly what we need. Also scrap this stupid police station, no one needs that, because we already got our Shinsengumi. And with the Aizu, I kind of prefer to scrap both of these ships, because they cost way too much money. Also, let's study epic architecture. This one, Shu, or whatever it's pronounced, uh, we can do that later. Although, hmm, I'm thinking a bit about uh, now. Nah, let's do this first. And in the first couple of turns, just recruit a bunch of spear levy. Never recruit the White Tiger Force, even though they're better than normal levies. You've got Spear Levy. They are such a good unit in the early game. They're not so good in the late game, they're no Yariyashi Garu, but... Uh, they're useful. Now, some trade agreements. I do not wish to let's get one with the Mito. Also, let's get 150 payment from them, because they will break their trade agreement next turn. They always do. The chances for that are 100%. Welcome. Now, Sendai, they usually just give you 20, that's all. And the Yonezawa, they don't even take your trade agreement, at least not in the first turn. Now, where to expand? I hate going south with the Aizu, because fighting in the Kanto fields is just the worst. You will be bordering the Jolzai very soon, and they're unpredictable, you could say. It really depends on if they declare war on the other shogunate clans down here. Uh, I just don't like them having. I just don't like having them as my neighbors. I really like to go in north with the Aizu, especially because of this province, because of Uzin. We definitely need the Buddhist shrine. It's gonna give us plus fifteen to charge bonus later, and also some negative modernization. So that's exactly what we need. Now that that's out of the way, let's start the challenge. Now, we're definitely gonna conquer the Sendai first. Although the Sendai, they can be formidable foes. Because they usually take Uzeng very soon. And from there they're gonna recruit some pretty strong traditional units. 
But first, let's get a trade agreement an with the Yonezawa. On an unexpected meeting. Let us see what uh, how much here. do you want to give me again? 30, yeah. Let's take that. Because why not? Now, get an in. Because why not? Income and no modernization and some happiness. Although this province doesn't need happiness. Continue until winter is over. As soon as winter is done, we're gonna move out of our uh, of our capital and attack me Sendai, because then we have enough troops. Just get, let's just get spear levy. They have a better level than anything they can recruit right now. Also, most of the time they just recruit crappy levy, and even though the auto resolve really likes them. If you actually fight with them, they will usually dominate Levy. Uh, was that all? Yes, it was. Well, nothing happening. Of course not. What do you expect? Clan destroyed. Toyama, uh, I have no idea who you were. Whatever, doesn't matter. Next turn already. And next turn winter should be over. And the sender already attacking. <laughs> they usually defeat the Yonezawa. It very, very rarely happens that they don't succeed. Now let's move our entire army out of here. Combine them with these, and this army can take out almost anything they're gonna send at me. The only difficult part could be if they recruit too many strong Katsu units, or too many strong Samurai units. That could be a problem. Oh, we're also getting some higher income. Like, if you're wondering why I'm not building this port, it's... I mean, what does it give us? Just like, uh... Uh, some town growth? Trade routes, yeah, I mean, that could be practical, but who am I going to trade with right now? Most of these clans here, they hate me anyway. And down here, we didn't encounter anyone yet. So, maybe later, but for now, I just think that's that's a waste of money. Also, just recruit some more Spear Levy, because we'll need them for later. We always need some, ki some kind of garrison in here, because otherwise the... Later, the Jolzai or any clan that's bordering us is gonna attack us. Except the Nagaoka. They usually tend to be loyal. No, I don't want to study this. Let's study epic architecture. And next turn. Yeah, there we go. The Sendai took Uzen already. All right, then. Now we saw they're going north. Well, let's attack them from behind. The only problem is that the Morioka are getting involved. Come here, my friend. Fuck you, war. And in. That means we can get our first geisha. Very, very important agent. I mean, remember, because we're not going to clan development level 2, we can never get a foreign veteran, because we can't get trading ports. I mean, only if we conquer provinces with trading ports, but if not, we can use our geishas to seduce them. At least once we bother some clans that actually have those, because usually they don't. Now, anyway, let's continue. In two turns, we can finally conquer Miyagi. Nah, what are you doing there? That's pretty useless. I mean, she doesn't have nearly high chances, nearly en high enough chances to do anything here. I just wonder where their army is now. Hmm. Okay, Geisha, just get inside here and give me some, some higher growth, cause why not? And yeah, that is all.
Jin Sengumi increased in rank. Good, good. What do we got here? No. That's okay. Yeah, let's take that. Also, for Shin Sengumi, I kind of like going for uh, instilling discipline. Because, yeah, that boosts your... Uh, your melee defense. That's pretty good. Before that, it was 8. Now it's 9. So, that's good, I guess. So, usually, we won't go for all the resolves, but in such a case, of course, we will. Because, as you can see, the auto resolve really hates traditional units. Ah, but anyway, this should be fine. Oh, great, a gambling den. Well, thanks for that, man. Now, how many guys do we need to move out? Huh. Minus 13, yeah. Because it's their, it's their capital. What can you do? But good thing they've already got a fortress in here. And this is a just a traditional dojo. Okay. Not a samurai dojo. Uh, yeah, let's start moving out next turn, I guess. That's when we have epic architecture too. So, and that's also when we can start recruiting some more levy, uh, spear levy in there. Yeah. Let's start moving out next turn. I can imagine the Ascender are gonna come back very soon. Because they're like, no, our capital is taken! Uh, Morioka, peace treaty. Peace. Huh. Well... Actually, yes. One... <laughs> one less clan to worry about. That's good. Okay, now... How many of you do, uh, do have to stay back? Well, first things first, I can't take the Shinsengumi with me. That's a big shame. But I can still recruit some Levy. And all of you, get out of here. And the Geisha. Yeah, you can just inspire this army. That's given them higher morale. Which is also very useful for traditional units. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, that's gonna take a while, but... In case... Uh, in case there's a revolt or anything, we can just exempt them from taxes, so... I guess that's fine. Yeah, administrative training, that's good to study next. Higher income. That's always good, because with this kind of challenge, our clan is gonna be very, very poor. Now, Morioka, do you actually take trade? Sometimes travelers they do. And profit by it. How much Shall do you we give me? Our have in store well, 100 then? Satisfactory. Alrighty. Kubota, you're at war with the Sendai and the Morioka. So, do you take trade? No. Speak. Well then, fuck you. Next turn, I really wonder where the Sendai are. Because if they are around here, and I conquer Uze, their entire army is gone. That would be the best outcome I could I could ever think of. Well then, continue. The worst possible case could be if their army is actually defending their province. So, let's see, where are they? Anyway... Let's attack him. Hmm. Yeah, that's just a bunch of levy. That's okay. Well, yeah, as you can see, I'm losing a lot of units, but it's okay. Now, first level up. Most important level up, I'd say. So, give me something good. Please, nothing about honor or anything, because we're, we're gonna get enough honor. Doctor? That's good. That's actually very good. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey, 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 that is perfect! In oh, well. Instills fear in enemy units. Wow! Such a luck to get that. 
because usually that is something down here, thread. So a general level 5 can have that. And my general has that with level 2. Whoa, I really didn't expect that. Let's get the shinobi perfect stuff. Now, I think I have to exempt you from taxes, yeah. At least for one turn. That's enough, let's just recruit as crazy. Next turn we can finally get some Yariki or Yarikatsi. I'm not sure yet. Probably Yariki. Clan destroyed the Sendai. And it seems like their entire army was up here. So they're gone now. <laughs> well, perfect stuff. Anyway, let's continue. Whoa. The... Who's that? The Hirosaki took out the... Morioka. Interesting. They're allied to the Kubota. Hmm. Whoa. That's usually not listen, happening. But my heart tells me that you're one. But interesting. I... Now the... Although the Matsumai, of course, they're at war with the uh, Hirosaki. So soon they're gonna land an army over here. Hmm. Now I wonder... It will be done. Where's the Kubota army? Probably in their home province, I can you imagine. Yeah, well, let's just get some Yariki. And spear level? Levy from there? Uh... No, over here, so we don't have to exempt them from taxes anymore. I've got to conquer at least one of them very soon. It, it really depends on what the Hirosaki are up to. Hmm. But pretty interesting. Now the Utsunomiya are gonna get destroyed very soon by the Jolzai. So I'll be bothering the Jolzai. Uh, not looking forward to that, really. <laughs> when can we move out? Very soon, actually. Alright then. Guess that is that for the turn. Now, like I said, I want to attack as soon as... Well, great. <laughs> now the Hirosaki are gonna de declare in war me. I, I don't understand why. You're at war with the Matsumai. They're attacking you in the back already. But at least that means for now we don't have to worry about the Kubota. Also because their army is incredibly crappy. <laughs> Just a bunch of levy. What are you guys doing there? So, can we move out? We can. Our entire army can move out. Good, good. And Geisha just inspired this army. Hmm. Now, what about those guys? I could get one more levy in there. Although soon I want to get these uh the Shinsengumi out of the, out of this province. So Nah, maybe for now better not. So let's get some Yarikachi. And continue. So now we're gonna, gonna attack the Hirosaki first. Uh, I was wondering who should I attack f <sighs> Fuck you, Mito. Why do you do this right now? Yeah, yeah, we're now at war, and you're at war with the, uh, with the Jolzai, you know that? Doesn't seem so. Just five troops? So, let's just recruit another levy in there, maybe next turn, I guess. And that should definitely be enough to stop him. Ready for orders. So, what to do with you guys? There are two options. 
I could just get all my units inside this province and wait for them to attack. Because I can imagine they're gonna do so. Anyway, let's get him in the province soon. Hmm. I'm just a bit worried about the Kubota attacking me. No, nah, but anyway, let's get the Yariki inside this province. I guess I just take the risk. I'm really hoping they're gonna attack me. And be like, oh, the auto resolve! And I'm like, no, I'm not using all the resolve. Fuck you. Should I get more Yarikachi? Hmm. Yes. Now, come on. I mean, they they can't reach me for now, but I'm not talking about you. You shouldn't come over. Okay, they're already attacking. There we go! And my yari keys the reinforcement. <laughs> yeah, look at this. Even the auto resolve is on my side. Although, never, never trust the auto resolve in Fall of the Samurai. It's fake, seriously. <laughs> it doesn't show you the exact strength, so never trust it. Well then, let's fight these losers. Sadly, this is not going to give us a heroic victory. Usually when you fight with a lot of traditional units against modern units, you get the heroic victories more often than not, but ah, for this one, sadly not. Doesn't look so. It's just going to be a decisive victory. Well then, what's our plan actually? Let's get uh, Let's let all our pew pew units stay inside the inner ring. And the other units can await the enemy in the second one. So the Shinsengumi, the Matchlocks and Levy can actually shoot down on the enemy. While the others are fighting them. So maybe you can stay over here? Yeah, the rest kind of depends on where they're coming from. General, yeah, one of them over here, one of them over here. Alright, and my reinforcement is coming from there. Whoa! Now, where is what coming from? Yorikatsu. Well then. Shinsengumi. Prepare to go over here and run, run, run. Hmm. There's not much coming from there, so... Levy, just position yourself over here. And what else? Where are my matchlocks? Maybe you, you can just come over here. To wait for these guys to come over. And this Levy. I'm not sure what to do with you guys, to be honest. Let's just put you to the walls. Because... <laughs> I don't know, why not? Well, no one needs you guys over here. So, just come over here. Especially because I don't want them to take my tower. Yeah, this general can stay there. But you're not needed over there. Come closer to the front. Now, Yariki. Where's their general? It's over there. Together with the Yarikachi. Hmm. Well. Let's wait until the Yarikachis climb in the wall. And then we, we can attack their generals. Yariki should be strong enough to take out both of them. At least I hope so. Here's more Yarikachi. That's good because... Uh, no, wait. Where's my Katanakachi again? Here. Hmm. No, there's just Levy over there. So it's better you come fighting the Yarikachi. Man. 
Metzlock cutscene. Yeah, they don't they don't matter. Yeah, here's all the Yari Katsi. That means our sword should come over here. Oh, that sword costs 5,000 dollars! Now Shinsengumi is firing and you can use fire arrows too. Now where's my key? Maybe you can start running already. Alright, Yarikatsu is losing man. And these Yarikatsu as well. Uh, I kinda want you to fire at their levy. Cause they don't have armor. Or at least barely any armor. Okay, this levy doesn't want to fight back it seems like. They want to climb for some reason. That means all uh, this levy is just gonna stay here. They can take the bulk of the charge because they're expendable, you know. Now, just fight him. Ah, no. Seems like not all of the Yarikatsu climbed up already. Well, that's a shame. Then let's let them run around a little. Because I can't fight their general here. But it's good. All the other Yarikatsu is staying over here and getting shot by my Shinsengumi. Katanakatsu, you're not doing that well, but I mean, <laughs> they're fighting to Yarikatsu. So it's okay. Just come around, leave their general. Maybe we can leave the general a bit under the tower or under some of the other fire units. They already broken? Interesting. So you can use fire arrows. They've already used all of them. And Spear Levy Shattered, Yarikatsi Wavering. Well, broken then completely shatter them. How about that? Ah! Stop firing at my own dudes. Ah, no, that hurts. Stop that. Ah, you assholes. How about you actually fire at their general? Not at my poor Yariki. Yes, that's what I want to see. Maybe if I just leave them behind, that's enough for them to rout. Already wavering. Yeah, you can see that's breaking them. Just cavalry being at their uh, at their flank or their backside. That's there's already enough for them to break. So who's coming here? Still the Yarikatsi, and for some reason they seem to be bugged. Well then, get shot, fools. And no, don't fight, Spear Levy. That's the last thing you should do. But so far, the battle is, doing, is going okay, I guess. We barely lost anything. At the double, double, double. Well... Are they still broken? Seems like they are. Mm. Now you can fight their general. As soon as their general's dead, the entire army should rout. Very, very soon. Yeah, there we go. That's the first general, now kill the second one. <laughs> What a great line over here. I think ending the battle now should kill their entire army. Decisive victory. Yeah, that's kind of what I expected. Well, sadly, no heroic victory. But their entire army is dead. Blah, blah, blah. And my Yari key is not replenishing now. Well, that's a shame. Geisha increase in rank. Alright then. What do we got? Trash! 
Let's just say the Dana. And uh, the first two levels are both pretty good. Because entertaining nobles, that gives you higher growth. But the other one will give you higher morale. But morale is not that important in defensive sieges, so nah. Hmm. We don't have enough money. So maybe I shouldn't recruit this Yarikachi. Because I definitely want to have one more spear levy in there. Just to make sure. Yeah, let's do so. Maybe last turn I should have raised taxes, tax rate a little. Ah, dang it. So you just gather with them and move out. <laughs> We're gonna take the Hirosaki now. Or take out the Hirosaki. Next turn's gonna be fine. Alright. But Gesha? Move in this army. And these Yarikachi. Hmm. I guess you can just follow the main army. Or maybe even stay in Miyagi. Cause what if, what if this this army is actually not heading for F uh, Fukushima but for Miyagi? Nah. And studying this, uh, yeah, why not? And that that should be that. Yes. Nah, seems like they're attacking Fukushima. That's fine with me. Well, anyway, that's where I'm gonna end the first episode. I hope you like it so far. Next turn, yeah, we're gonna fight a pretty pointless defensive siege against these fools. I mean, they've got at least three levy against three level three <laughs> spear levy. There's no chance we're losing that. And we're... Yeah, in two turns we're going to take Hirosaki, I mean Iwate, from the Hirosaki. And after that, yeah, we will have to fight the uh, Kubota. Which is not going to be too hard. I mean, their army looks impressive because of all this like improved armor, improved accuracy, but actually it's trash. This kind of army is serious, seriously, it's trash. Well, anyway... I hope to see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.